It's a very exciting time here at Bell with both the down select for the FARA and the FLARA uh, programs, United States Army. Everything that you've seen us do with the V280 through the joint multi-role effort and what we're going to do with the FARA effort. The Manufacturing Tech Center is another one of those key elements to show that Bell has both the capability and the capacity to handle programs of this magnitude. We are innovating products and vertical experiences and services and we're innovating how we would build them. This is the Manufacturing Technology Center. This is where we are going to um, develop all the next generation manufacturing technologies that will enable 280, that will enable Invictus, that will enable Nexus, that will enable all things future of Bell. We realize that in order to produce the aircraft the Army has asked for, that we have designed in the quantities and timeline they've asked for, that we really need to think differently about our manufacturing. So this Manufacturing Technology Center will allow us to evaluate the technologies that are available, to compare technologies, to bring them in from different parts of the world, from different manufacturing suppliers, to do a bit of our own innovation around manufacturing. We've proven what these aircraft can do. Now we've got to show that we can produce them at high rate, high quality, and make them reliable and affordable. In the lobby area, you can see these are what the factories are going to look like in the future and how we're going to produce these future vertical lift aircraft. Not just the V280, but also the 360. When we come out of our welcome center in our briefing area, we have 140,000 square feet of, of, of room to enable our folks. You can see from the very beginning all the way back into the supply chain, how it feeds in, how things get produced and assembled, critical parts, and then how we would deliver them out of an assembly center. One of the things that we always, it's a barrier we always run into is you have this, this incredible next generation machine where we've, we've, we've taken a lot of lessons learned and put it in, but then everybody just wants to evaluate it based on all the historical data for the last 30, 40 years in the industry. This is one of the other data points where we're gonna be able to prove that, no, listen, we've done things that, that drastically reduce costs, that drastically reduce the number of steps, that drastically reduce our lead times to where it's not just, you can't just view this product through a historical lens. You need to do it through the revolutionary lens that we've, that we've created. We wanna show the customer that when you come here, we're actually gonna be building those parts so they can walk onto a factory floor. And when you walk out, it's gonna be a, a look and a feel of what that future factory is. It's gonna look much different than our current factories, a lot more automated, a lot more digitally connected. Transition to production mission. It's the hardest thing to do in aerospace a lot of times, in most, in most manufacturing pieces is. And so this place is a lot of ways it's designated and designed to do is to enable us to transition those great designs of the, of the 280 and of the Invictus into the production side. The MTC is focused on how to produce and match process capability to design. When you think about affordability, sustainability, reliability, all those things come back to can the part perform like it was intended? And can you build the part to how you designed it? Over here, first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna kind of, that's gonna be pretty obvious is there's gonna be a, a gear manufacturing research line. There's some really key technologies there. Our strategy on this whole space is simplify. So let's go take out as much, as many steps and as much as we can. When the Army comes in and takes a look at this manufacturing tech center, they get to see the product, which was the V280 or the 360, and say, how can Bell make it very affordable, high quality and reliable product? They're gonna see the areas that in their minds considered high risk as you go to the next phase. And those risk areas that I think are there in terms of critical components like rotors and drives, that they can actually see that the risk has been burned down and they feel confident that we can build the product at rate. We have gear and a case line kind of right here where we're really focused on those kind of pieces. The gear line is, as an example, the V22 bull gear takes 56 manufacturing processes to complete. Uh, the V280 bull gear is 16. Our, our ability, our success will, will be generated from our ability to go faster, our ability to reduce lead times and those kind of things is really, really key. You came and saw the aircraft being demonstrated at the Flight Research Center and now you're gonna come see how we're gonna build it. And when the Army leaves there and after they've seen the center and seen what we've done in there, they should walk away very confident that we know exactly how we're gonna build it and we can build it at rate.